when I was like early days, like open micer, me and Fitzsimmons saw Bill Hicks bomb at Nick's oh, yeah. Comedy Stop. Most of the times, that's what he did. And yeah. and clear the fucking room. Yeah. But at the end of his set, there was 50 people left. Like, what does Nick's hold? Like 300 plus people? It was big. It was about 300. Yeah. Something like that. So uh, at the end of the set, there's 50 people left in the audience and maybe 20 comedians. Mm -hmm. And Fitzsimmons and I are just fucking howling. <laughs> We're howling. We, we, we thought it was so funny and it was so funny that he was clearing the room. And he went on after Larry Norton. Do you remember Larry Norton? Sure. Comic, Comic on a Harley. On a Harley, yes. 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 <laughs> I'm Larry Norton. I'm a comic on a Holly. Yeah, that's it. So Larry Norton killed, and then Hicks went on after yeah. him. And, you know, Hicks Forget is, it. you know, it's fucking existential angst yeah. and smoking cigarettes and, you know, mm -hmm. cancer and this and that. Yeah. And then uh, the audience is just fucking leaving. And so yes. he's doing, I don't know if you remember that bit that he does about, uh, I think it's like the devil fucks John Davidson in the ass. Yes, and De and uh, Debbie Gibson, or no, that was Jimi Hendrix That's fucking Debbie one. Gibson with his guitar. <laughs> that was that. that was I, you wanted it rock and roll, didn't you, Debbie? <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. No! You know. Yeah, that was a different one. But yeah. so he's doing this bit where John Davidson is shitting out the devil's kid. That's where. He's, yeah, pfft, I remember so that. He's squatting and he's like. And he looks up and he goes, yeah, this generally clears a room. Yeah. And the people are just getting up in yep. fucking droves. And we were howling. We thought it was so funny. Yep. We thought it was so funny. It was just, yep. it was nice to see this guy who is so, like, respected. Right. But eating shit in front of a bunch of he people that didn't know who lot. he was. He yeah. ate shit a lot. Yeah. I worked with him. I opened for him at the San Francisco Punchline. And uh, he, there were some nights where he was destroying just killing. Uh, he did this whole thing about that they should use terminally ill patients as stuntmen. Yes, for Chuck Norris movies. Yeah, he goes, <laughs> do you want your grandmother to die alone in a room of strangers with her with her veins fading into dust, or do you want her to meet Chuck Norris? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he'd do this thing of sending out like this person who's like half dead, and then he just, Chuck Norris just kicks <laughs> her head off. Just kicks it off, and you go, whoa, you know. But he was destroying some shows, yeah. and then other shows, just nothing, just nothing. Wow. Just they didn't get it. They didn't want to hear it. He didn't have a uh, gear to go to. No. And he didn't have, uh, um, I mean, I learned from it, because I used to think you could make these jokes work for some of these people that don't like them. You could just, I just reach out a little bit. It doesn't mean yeah. changing the jokes. It yeah. just means... Just give it. It's just something in your it. eyes that says, "I yeah. look. I know you're having a hard time, but I I don't mean you any harm. I just this is I, this is funny if you listen. I swear to God, just get you know get through." He it. wasn't interested in making that bridge. No, he wasn't. He wasn't. Yeah. He was a bit of a misanthrope. Yeah. Uh, also, a very sweet guy in his way, you know. But uh, yeah, I never got the chance to talk to him. Yeah, I liked him. I only said hi to him once uh -huh. at Nick's Comedy Stop. And I was like, yeah. Ooh. I don't think he noticed much about me, but I worked with him a number of times. Yeah. And I liked him. I liked I liked listening to him. I liked his act. He also was a good comic. Like, he made good noises with a microphone and stuff. Yeah. Because he came from here. He came from yep. Texas and Houston. Sam and all those guys. There was that. This was a big scene. Yeah. 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 This was the scene at one point in time. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you think of Kinnison and him both coming out of here. Crazy. Pretty wild. Uh -huh. And those guys were, I mean... Kinnison was probably the most revolutionary comedian of our lifetime in the you think 1980s. So? Yeah, there'd never been anybody like him. All of a sudden, hmm. screaming, "I was married twice!" <laughs> yeah, how would be like Clubman? Yes, he was like, "What? Where did this come from?" Totally different there was than nobody any like other kind him. of comedy. I think Steve Martin was like that too, in a totally oh, sure. different tone. He yeah. was. It was. He was the one that excited me the most. Like, I loved Cosby and Pryor and Carlin when I was a kid. But uh, Steve Martin was the first one where I went, you're not even doing show business. Right. What are you doing? You're just being really weird. <laughs> <laughs> and I love it, and other people love it. It's, yeah. He was the guy who made me think, maybe I could do this. Really? Yeah.